let's say you're trapped on a desert island for months, maybe years, and you only have five black metal albums to keep you company, to keep you warm in the dead of night. Which five are you taking with you? Which five are you going to pick? Today we're going to talk about mine. I've done this before with various genres. Today is just black metal. I'm going to tell you what five albums I would take with me on my journey. And of course, I want your guys' feedback. Let me know down below how stupid my taste is. Let me know down below how stupid your taste is. And we're all going to have a jolly gay old time on some beach. Woo, Sam! Sandy Vagina! Sandy Vagina! All right, let's go. Let's kick it off with... um, Let's go with this one. Fairly obvious one. Um, I wish I could pick Funeral Doom. I had that on the other one. You know, Call the Wretched Sea or Divinity of Oceans would just be so perfect. But what, what are you going to do on, on a desert island? You know, you could forage for food. You could kick some animals if you see any animals. You could try and fish. Or you could stare at the stars. Dark space free. Look at that art. So creepy. I mean, I think there's another... Yep. Just darkness. <laughs> Sometimes it will just be darkness. And this is the perfect soundtrack to that. Because it's nightmare fuel. Creepy. The screams are in the background very just unsettling. It's just a calming atmosphere on a deserted island. You know what I mean? It's just a calming atmosphere. Margarita in your hand. <laughs> Coconut. Some dark space to chill your fucking bones. I actually love it. I love it. I think it's calming. Actually, is the album out of every album I've got in my collection that makes me sleep the most. Not in a bad way. In a, if I want to sleep, I throw dark space on and I'm just in a great mood so if i'm having a shit night's sleep on this island if i'm having a shit time on this island maybe a turtle's <laughs> gnashing on my knob then i want something to help me sleep and dark space is that remedy so fuck yes of course i'm picking dark space speaking of the stars let's keep with the stars i will be stargazing you know i'll be lying on the sand you know looking up at the stars seeing all the constellations and being like that's probably jupiter that's probably another star. But they're not saving me, you fucking bastards. Yeah, um, we're going to go with one that everyone knows I'm going to pick. Of course, it is <gasps> Wanderers of the Nine. It's one of my favourite albums of all time. Got to pick it. Split between Mercognitum and Spectral Law. Uh, it's it's over two hours, so it's you want some girthy albums, you know what I mean? You want some girthy albums to keep you more interested because it is only five albums for the amount of time you're going to be on this on this island, which could be a long time. Two discs, this bad boy. Two discs for the price of one. Holy moly. I love it. Every album is a planet, uh, including Pluto. Uh, <laughs> every album is a planet, and it just, the sounds of them are so good. Uh, very relaxing. A lot, kind of similar to Dark Space, but a bit less evil sounding. More just cosmic and i don't know what the word is adventurous like you're going an adventure through the stars star trek star wars esque whereas dark space is like fucking a dead space level that's the difference but yeah gotta have this with me i should be staring at the stars just having a nice relaxing time listening to that album let's do the complete opposite um hey <laughs> Yeah, Leviathan's 10th sub-level is suicide. People are thinking, what the hell pick is that? Hear me out. Say I'm really depressed. Say, <laughs> say I, I, I kind of want to go on. This will help me just snap out of that. I'll get coconut and just smash on my head. Kill myself. This will be my bullet. You're not allowed bullets or like knives on this desert island. You only have music. So you can take this, <laughs> cut your throat. Great time. No. I do love the music as well. It's another one like Dark Space where it kind of helps me, but it's so terrifying and just like creepy. Shut the fuck up. God damn gardeners. But yeah, um, terrifying, creepy, in the dead of night and something's unsettling. You want this to listen to, to just make it worse. That's the reason I pick, I pick this to make my life worse on the island. It's going to be bad. May as well make it excitingly bad. Yeah, I'm going to have to deal with that. Close the fucking window, you bums! <laughs> um, yes. Anywho, where were we? Yeah, Leviathan. Pretty good album for a depressing time. 
On the flip side, we want some beauty, so we have some Aquilus Greasius. Such a great album, kind of mixing in the classical, kind of like an opeth feel as well in the atmospheric black. They do it like no one else does. Could have been Bellum One, which I actually slightly prefer. But this one I've just been getting into a lot more recently, and it's so goddamn good. Oh. Um, beautiful. Going through the maybe there's a forest on the island. Uh, and you're scavenging for berries, nuts, and or berries. This is the album to do it to. Farmland, you know, fishing to this. Oh, so serene. You need some beauty alongside the spacey and fucking depressing stuff. So this is that beauty. It doesn't stop there. My last pick is also beauty. We're going with Drook's Autumn Aurora. You, yeah, Bloody No Wells is my favourite album of all time. But I'm picking Autumn Aurora for this. For a desert island... Like, the actual songs on here just are more beautiful, more calming, more serene. So you have your feet... Holy fucking... What was that noise? There's a fucking dragon attacking me. Jesus Christ, let's get this over and <laughs> done with before I get attacked. Um, yeah, more beautiful fishing. Your little tinky toes in the calming water while you're fishing. The big pike... It'll just be a peaceful, relaxing time, and you need that as well, kind of like uh, Aquilus. So yeah, Droop, one of my favourite black metal bands, and this one of my favourite albums, so there you go. That is my list of five albums Desert Island discs for black metal that I'll take with me on my journey. There's probably loads I missed off. There's no melodic black metal here. There's no, like, symphonic even here. There's no raw, like, well, Leviathan maybe. Maybe. Kind of dark space, but yeah. Overall, those are just some five albums that I'll take on my list, and I love them to pieces. So, let me know your own down below. Now, my chair is slowly turning this way, so we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.